Hello, Paul Hamilton here. What we're going to do today is create this uh, kind of magical piece of artwork using Keynote and iJack, uh, a new app that I've come across. Um, and we're going to create animated GIFs over the top of existing Keynote pictures or just traditional sketches like this one, which was just done in charcoal. And you can see that the trigger image stays with the artwork. So these are the things you're going to need. We're going to need an iPad that runs uh, basically AR. Uh, we're going to need the Keynote app for iPad. Um, iJack for I, uh, app for iPad 2, which is free, um, and the big one is we're going to need to have on our laptop iJack Creator installed. I'll post that link in the bottom of the uh, description in YouTube. So I'm going to start with by taking a picture of some artwork, just using the camera app, and what we'll do with that is we'll bring that into Keynote and just paste that into a slide or insert it from a slide. I'll do a little bit of masking um, just to get rid of all the green. And this will be our trigger image. So this is the thing that iJack will be looking for in regard to then producing the overlay on top of it. Um, so I'll just do a little bit of resizing. I can just have a white background. doesn't matter too much about the uh, canvas size on the Keynote slide. It doesn't matter too much. So I'm just going to make that a little bit bigger and center it on my uh, Keynote slide. Okay, so it's going to be looking for that. So what I need to do is actually duplicate that slide and I need to create my animations directly on top of where I want them to um, action on the piece of artwork. So I've got a couple of little sketches here. I'll, if you want to pause this video and do some sketches or bring in a keynote shape, I've got Totoro. Um, I've got a little uh, balloon, uh, which is just basically a keynote uh, shape and I've just drawn a little a piece of string with it and we'll paste that there. That's looking pretty good. Might give it some more movement by bringing in a keynote shape, say a bird. So if I go up to keynote shapes here, I'm going to put in a bird and then I'll give it some action. So I'll give them some build-ins or some actions with keynote animate and I'll show you how to do that in a minute. Uh, let's look for a flying bird. Yep, that'll do. Uh, we'll style that black just so it fits in with the artwork a little bit. You could kind of work on selective colouring here and do some pretty cool stuff with that as well. I'll start the bird off the canvas so when it comes into the AR experience it's actually going to come from off the page which is pretty cool. And then we'll just uh, on this balloon we'll just do a little action of a create motion path and we'll put some timing on it. I'm not going to get too particular with this tutorial. I'll let you guys have a play. There's lots that you can do. And this is our GIF, so this is going to be the overlay that sits on top of the artwork on top. So it's really important that the picture doesn't move or you don't rescale the picture that's underneath it. Uh, you really want to get your positioning right. And so we've just got a little bird here, we'll do a little create path. I'll make him go really quickly so that you don't have to watch me do those sort of things. There we go, that's looking pretty good. Give that a quick test, that looks all great. Uh, we'll bring that in with build one, so you can have them coming in at different build stages if you like. And that's looking really good. So that's going to be our GIF. So slide two is going to be our print or our trigger image, and slide three will be the actual um, GIF itself. Now, if we go to the GIF page, this is what we need to do. We need to actually delete the artwork. We don't want the artwork coming up because it won't. It'll look like a dodgy picture over the top of it. So we actually want to delete the whole artwork and most importantly, we want to make our canvas transparent. So our slide background, no fill. And we're actually going to export that as an animated GIF. So let's go up and do that. So this is just slide three, animated GIF. Uh, 24 frame rates, always 24 frames uh, per second, always good. And we need to make sure our transparent background down the bottom is clicked. Please make sure that is clicked. And see the slide range, we need to make sure that that's just slide three that we're actually animating. And so we'll export that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to airdrop that to my Mac, to my laptop. Uh, we need a copy of the GIF and we need a copy of the trigger image, slides two and three. So we've done our GIF. That's really, really easy to do. I'll just wait for my laptop to come up on airdrop. When we press share, it should come up the top there. We'll flick it over to me, and that's our animation done. It's that simple, and you can actually build quite complex animations in Keynote as animated GIFs. Uh, so the second thing we need to do is slide two, we need to have that as a single image file. So we're going to export slide two, just with a white background, doesn't need to be transparent. So we'll go back to slide two, and we're going to export that as a PNG file. 
and that's going to be my trigger image. Um, just make sure that it's just slide two that we're doing, not the description up the top that I've got. So we've got two files. We've got our uh, JPEG file or PNG file, you can choose either, and we've got our GIF file. And that GIF file really does overlay perfectly on the bits that I want animated. Okay, so I'll airdrop that over to uh, my laptop too. And then it's almost time to jump on my laptop and just putting it all together, which is super easy. Now you'll need iJack Creator. I'll post a link to that at the bottom of this YouTube description so you can actually download it, it's free. And here you can see I've got my artwork on my laptop. I've also got my animated GIF as well, which when I preview that, obviously it comes down as the different pictures, but that's okay. So I've got my two files, I've got my print or my trigger image and I've got my animated file which is really, really important. And then it's really, really simple. I'm just gonna have a look over here. I'll bring over iJack Creator and it's the easiest software to use. It really does work beautifully with our Keynote files. So we're gonna double click on that and just see what that looks like. Simple as there, we'll press begin and we've just gotta load two files. We're, we're gonna load our print file which is our trigger image so that's the PNG or the JPEG file that you've actually created. There it is there. And the next one that we're gonna load is our GIF file. And that's just loaded over the top. So there's my GIF file, nice and organized. And it's that simple. It's really is simple. And then I just keep, I could add a sound there too. You can actually add some garage band sound tracks or something that actually plays when the trigger image goes off. But it's as simple as that. We've got our trigger image, which is our JPEG or PNG, our GIF file over the top, and we're going to just give it a name, and we're going to press start, and it just puts it all together really, really beautifully. Now, as that's just compiling that and putting those together, I'm now going to jump back into my iPad app. I've got iJack downloaded, and the only thing I have to do is after this process is finished, I'm just going to scan the QR code just so it downloads it ready to go. Uh, it's a really easy process. Um, I'm finding the best thing about the Keynote is that I can actually take a picture or print off my Keynote drawings and then overlay perfectly the GIF over the top of the select bits. I think that's where the real strength lies with this process. So as it's kind of just putting all this uh, AR experience together, um, there it is. So it's all uploading. It's almost ready to go. And then I'm going to jump on my iPad now and I'm just going to quickly scan the QR code that comes up in a minute, which will um, let me download. See on the right hand side there over here on my iPad, I'm actually going to scan that. And what it will do is it'll kind of load up my overlay ready to go and then I just have to hold it up and it recognizes my artwork and plays the animation perfectly on the select places um, that I want it to actually work. So uh, let's jump into our iPad here and we'll jump over a little bit. Let's see how we're going. So I'm on my iPad now, I'm opening up iJack. I've downloaded and I've kind of scanned that QR code there. And now I, all I have to do now is hold it up over my artwork and voila, there you go. And the great thing about this obviously is it picks up the image. So I can pick up my artwork here and I can move it round, and I've got this beautiful animation um, which is working beautifully. Um, it's so easy to use. Uh, the great thing is I can get quite complex animations happening with my artwork or I can simply print off my keynote artwork and layer over the top. I hope you found that useful. Please share with other teachers. Paul Hamilton signing off.